गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास फ्रेंड्स टूडे विल स्टार्ट विद स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर द सेकेंड लेयर ऑफ द एटमोसफेयर इज स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर दिस लेयर लाइट एव ऑफ ट्रोपोपर वी हैव सीन दैट ट्रोपोस्फेयर एंड्स विद ट्रोपोपॉस आफ्टर दैट द लाइन दैट स्टार्ट इज स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर नॉट लाइन द स्फेयर at at a height of 6 km it is free from clouds water vapor and dust particles it has layer temperature here the layer uh, here in this layer the temperature is steady um, at less than 50 degree centigrade and up to 20 km above the temperature then gradually increases in this layer the ozone layer is present ozone that is o3 which absorbs the ultraviolet rays of the sun which results in the increase of temperature in this layer as the temperature increases in this layer from 8 minus 80 degree centigrade to 10 degree centigrade as the altitude increases so to avoid atmospheric disturbance jet planes find it safe to do their movement in this layer above 60 km the of the altitude the temperature starts again falling this transitional zone that marks the upper layer of the stratosphere is known as strato stratosphere after after stratosphere stratosphere comes the mesosphere which extends up to 80 km above the earth surface in this layer temperature again starts falling um, with its height the temperature becomes as low as 80 degree minus 80 degree to 120 degree centigrade in this layer we can see meteorites which comes towards the earth they burn in this layer only and the upper layer of this sphere is known as mesosphere after mesosphere it is thermosphere and ionosphere in this layer uh in this layer the temperature increases rapidly as the height increases above 80 km of a, uh, 80 km evolution the temperature increases to minus 93 degree which becomes nearly 1000 degree to at 500 km height that means as the height increases the temperature also increases here the air is extremely rarefied ionization occurs in this layer uh, that means electrically charged particles of ions and electrons are found in this layer so this layer is also known as ionosphere uh radio waves which due to which we can hear the tv radio they reflect back to the earth due to this uh ionosphere or thermosphere long distance radio con- communication is possible due to this sphere the polar lights which you, which you have read that is aurobras lies and auroras lies in northern and southern hemisphere developed in this layer only this is the layer where the light star uh, is being produced and due to which reflection we can see after this is the exosphere this is the uppermost layer of the atmosphere Uh, extending up to 700 km in height this is extremely rarefied layer which measure sorry which merges into space gradually that means slowly as we go upwards we can uh, in this sphere ends and it is joining with the space in this layer temperature increases to about 1 Oh, sorry 1200 degree centigrade next after this layer comes the magnetosphere well 
as it is told that exosphere is the uppermost layer so what is magnetosphere magnetosphere extends beyond 10000 km the outermost limit of the gaseous atmosphere it is the region between earth's gaseous atmosphere and the magnetic atmosphere here protons uh, originating from the solar and cosmic rays they move very very rapidly here in this layer rays are trapped in uh, this layer in a ring called van allen radiation belt the magnetosphere protects the life on earth from ionization radiation ionizing ionizing radiation the upper and the outer boundary of this magnetosphere is also known as magno uh, magneta magnetopause so this layer is also helpful for us